Hey guys, uh, day two, day two of a video every day in April. Um, I go to an accountability brunch at the start of each month and we talk about all of the things that we're going to accomplish that month. If we don't do it, we owe money. And this month, I officially am holding myself accountable for a video every day. And so now not only do I have you guys, but also I have a group of friends who will take my money if I do not do it. So. Here we are, day two, and it feels feels good. So one of the things that I got asked yesterday in the comments of my video um, was about art style. Art style is something that um, I feel like a lot of artists get asked about. How did you find your art style? What kind of um, work did you go through to get an art style? How do I find mine? Will it ever happen? And I feel like that's totally, it's, it's normal, like, you know, it's, I'm still in an art style <laughs> crisis, kind of. I feel like every artist, until they find theirs, is like, will I ever get it? Where is this art style and will I find it? Um, so one of the things that helps me the most or has helped me the most in the past and continues to help me is this idea of um, practice. <laughs> like... Obviously, you hear that from everybody. It's just like, oh, well, if you want to be good at something, you have to practice. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, yeah. I think it's definitely one of those things that is kind of a, well, that's a given, Ash. Like, how are you going to just sit here and say I need to practice? But I think really, if, we, if you look at, even, you know, if you look at my past sketchbooks of, of the different kind of art styles I've kind of gone through, look at my old work and, and you can see that it's changed a lot. And I know when my, the artists that I look up to um, post kind of like, look where I've been and look where I am now, that always is like, oh, cool, okay, so, you know, I'm on the way too. And so I think that the reason why everybody says, oh, practice is not because like, you know, it, it takes X amount of hours or X amount of, of sketchbooks filled to, and suddenly you have this art style. It's that you're building a confidence in whatever feels good to you to draw. I think that that's something that I've had to learn kind of the hard way and kind of over a really long period of time is that a lot of the art that I was trying didn't feel natural to me. It wasn't intuitive. It didn't feel good to be making, but I, oh, I just wanted my art to look a certain way. And the more practice I got drawing characters, the more practice I got drawing whatever I was trying to accomplish, the more I realized the parts of it that felt good to draw and the parts that just didn't. And if it didn't feel good anymore, then why am I doing it? <laughs> you know, I, I think specifically with character design and development, I've gone through so many styles wishing that my art looked a certain way. And what that did was just, it felt, you know, kind of like swimming upstream. And so when I finally realized the parts about drawing characters that felt intuitive to me, the more I was able to kind of develop a style that felt more mine. I think a lot of the styles I was trying were this weird knockoff version of all of the artists that I look up to, which is, is also completely normal as long as you're working past that imitation stage. Um, so definitely at practice, practice is good because you do it enough to know where your natural resting place is. Oh my God, there's a sweet old couple outside walking down the street and they're hugging and they're walking and they're old and they love each other and I am emotional as all heck. <sighs> Love is just, okay. Oh, that was everything I didn't know I needed today. <laughs> okay, now that I'm uh, suffering from cardiac arrest, we can continue with the video. So definitely practice. And I think I kind of touched on it already, but another really, really big thing for me was being inspired by other artists or being inspired by the world around me. You know, if you find something you're passionate about or inspired by, it's a lot easier to keep going at it. And so if, you, if you're feeling stuck art style wise, you know, I encourage you to, you know, follow other artists online or... Charles, please stop chewing my tripod. <sighs> this cat is going to be the death of me. Charles, the tripod is not for you. I'm just going to hold him. I recommend just getting inspired as much as possible because it can be really isolating to be finding an art style. So practice, inspiration, and honestly, just give yourself permission to suck. And it's the hardest thing, but if you're so focused on getting it right so fast and you're not giving yourself permission to, you know, learn some things the hard way and there's value 
and learning the hard way. So art style is really hard and I think pretty much every artist who's found theirs has, you know, some kind of story about how it was difficult and how, you know, where they started is not where they ended up. It can be really intimidating, especially because, you know, we're taught that you have to have an art style that's memorable. <laughs> you have to have your own and you have to, you have to matter or make a difference or be different and that's, that's true. But don't discredit the journey. I think that the journey to finding your art style or really with most things is so that when you get to that end point, you know what to do with it. You're not lost. So I encourage you to not give up if you're struggling with an art style. Believe me, I know how frustrating it is. I still don't feel like I have a solid art style, but I am, I am finally starting to see it growing. I'm starting to see it kind of blossoming in and it's a long process. Enjoy art, enjoy doing the damn thing. And hopefully by the time you find it, you've, you've learned yourself enough to know that it's you. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow.